Ever paid attention to those metal or plastic tips on the ends of your shoelaces? They're called aglets. Sure, they keep the strings from fraying, and they make lacing your shoes a bit less labor-intensive. But here's the surprising bit. They appeared in ancient Rome, where people made them out of glass or stone. Now, the reason why the computer mouse is named after that cute little rodent is easy to explain. The thing is quick and small, and not too long ago, it used to have a cord connecting it to the computer that looked like a tail. But when the first computer mice appeared, producers referred to them as turtles. Makes sense. They're covered with a hard shell, and all the moving parts are underneath this shield. Obviously, webcams let you see your friends and relatives who can be halfway across the world. But few people know that the web camera was created with a bit less noble purpose. It was 1991, and Cambridge computer scientists were getting frustrated. You see, every time they went to the coffee machine for a cup of joe, there wouldn't be any coffee left in the pot. A journey wasted. One day, they finally had enough and simply invented the world's first webcam. They placed the camera next to the infamous coffee pot with a perfect view to check the level. Then they'd know right from their desks if the trip would be worth the effort. Ah, what would childhood be without hours spent sending a slinky down the staircase? Ah, good times! The popular toy has been around for over 70 years. But there's more to the slinky than stair time fun and a lot of tangles. Its older metal version used to serve as a makeshift antenna for engineers and soldiers. And in 1985, one slinky even made it to space! Unfortunately, it refused to slink in zero gravity. Astronauts reported that it just drooped. Paper money isn't the only reliable form of cash, because bills tend to wear out faster than you think. For example, a US $1 bill usually lasts only for 18 months. After that, it must be withdrawn from circulation and replaced. A $5 bill goes a bit longer, for 2 years, a 10 for 3 years, and a 20 for 4 years. As for 50 and $100 bills, they last the longest 9 whole years. And get this, the US Mint prints 37 million bills a day, but 95% of them go to replace old ones that are dirty, torn, faded, and unusable. Hey, I'll be happy to take that dirty, torn, and faded cash. Call me, maybe. T-shirts were invented at the beginning of the 20th century. In 1904, Cooper Underwear Company advertised them as a perfect product for bachelors who couldn't sew or reattach buttons to their shirts. Back then, you were supposed to wear a t-shirt under your collared shirt as an undergarment. Oh, and all t-shirts at that time were white, no funny prints or bright colors. In 1957, engineers Alfred Fielding and Mark Chavanez decided to seal two shower curtains together with tiny bubbles of air stuck in between. Why? It was supposed to be a cool new idea for wallpaper. Unfortunately for them, nobody was interested in bubbly wall decor. But in 1961, people realized that this bubble wrap could be great protection for fragile things. The company's first client was IBM, who used the stuff to cover their computers during shipment. I don't know. I'm kind of into that wallpaper idea now that I think about it. Imagine how fun your house could be! Erasers. Why are they pink? Okay, I know they now come in all colors and shapes, but I'm talking about that classic bubblegum hue. History's got all the answers. When a standalone eraser appeared in 1916, it was made mainly of rubber and pumice. Without the pumice, the thing didn't have enough friction to erase pencil marks. Pumice could be white or red, and the color of an eraser depended on the hue of this volcanic rock. That year, the Eberhard Faber Pencil Company started to add pink pumice to their erasers, which became popular under the name Pink Pearl. Nowadays, producers don't use pumice or natural rubber for their erasers anymore, but they decided to keep the color as an homage to history. Electric fans don't actually cool the air. If you put a thermometer anywhere close to the working parts, you'll see the temperature rise due to the electric current. What it does do is cool your skin. The device speeds up the evaporation process, making sweat on your skin colder. Rice is the oldest food on your plate. And I don't mean it's expired. Rice is the product people have been cultivating for the longest time, from 12,000 to 15,000 years. It first appeared in ancient China's Pearl River Valley thousands of years ago. 
The only other food that's almost as old is corn. Native people in Mexico started growing it between 7,000 and 12,000 years ago. Now, the keyboard you use today was originally designed to slow you down. The position of the letters isn't as random as it might seem. It's called QWERTY design. See the top left row of letters. And it appeared in 1872. The main purpose of this design was to slow down the typists of that time. They were getting too fast for the machines they used. As a result, typewriters jammed, which wasted tons of time. And however counterintuitive it may sound, slowing the typists down actually made them more productive. Obviously, there's no practical need for the QWERTY keyboard nowadays. But people are so used to it, that it's probably not worth coming up with a new design. You might have noticed that some cables have clunky cylinders on them. These cylinders are called ferrite chokes or ferrite beads, and they have an important function. Without them, cables turn into antennas that can pick up and broadcast electrical interference. The cylinders, in turn, choke this interference. Automatic lip liners and eye pencils have a sharpener installed in the package. The lid on the back part of the pencil doesn't only reveal the color, you can pull it out and sharpen up the product. Toothpicks come in different varieties, and one of them is a bit puzzling. Sometimes they have several grooves. The first one is weak, so it's easy to break the toothpick in two. The smaller section with one more groove can be used as a stand to avoid the contact with the table. You can make a makeshift stand for disposable chopsticks. They have a sort of lump at one side before you split the pair. So next time you have a sushi dinner, try breaking off that lump instead of regular splitting. When you want to take a sushi break, just place the stick on this stand. Yeah, you've heard before that a drawer beneath your oven is there for keeping the food warm if the guests are running late. Here's one more hidden function. You can slow cook on lower temperatures in that drawer, too. All the bottles used to be of the same green color ones. But later it was discovered that brown ones are way better at blocking UV light. Say no more. Stickers on fruit seem to provide zero information about the product. But if you look closer, you'll find some numbers that can tell you more. A five-digit number where the first number is 9 is a good sign. You're about to buy an organic product. A four-digit number starting with a 3 or 4 means it was conventionally farmed. And if the number starts with an 8 and there are five digits, well, it's best to leave it on the shelf. A dollar has its secrets, too. A large letter with a rim shows which bank is responsible for issuing this bill. There are 12 banks distributing currency. For example, the L says it was printed in San Francisco. Now, some cups look like they're chipped on the bottom, but they're produced this way. In fact, these dimples are supposed to keep the cup in place on wet surfaces, and it doesn't let excess water accumulate while it's in a dishwasher. Small hollows in a chocolate box are designed for chocolate lovers. Press the closest deepening to the chocolate that you want to grab, and it'll jump out of the box right into your hand. Bath foam can be more than just a pleasant smell. It also has a sort of thermoregulatory function. The bubbles save water heat, so you can enjoy your bath a little longer. Disclaimer, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat fast, no matter how much foam you make. A good doorknob is one that's made of brass, bronze, or some copper alloys. These metals have an anti-germ effect. Bacteria spread way slower on them. They also get rid of germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. Nope, it doesn't mean you don't have to wash your hands. If you pour milk or juice right onto your t-shirt every single time, you're probably not doing it right. Try pouring it from the other side of the carton. It sloshes less and is easier to control. There's only one way you can store your peanut butter right. If you place it the regular way, it may get a bit solid before long. The trick is to store it upside down so the oils don't stay on the bottom all the time and distribute evenly. A dinner jacket has small pockets above regular ones, and they're not useless. They're called ticket pockets, 
and were designed so that gentlemen wearing such jackets could easily access the tickets and show them on a train. They could also store cash and other small loose items in a super convenient way. Now, whatever coffee shop you go to, all the disposable cups look exactly the same, only the logo changes. The secret here is the special shape that allows you to enjoy your drink easily. The top is always wider, which allows it to accommodate your nose while you're drinking. And the bottom is always narrower, so that anyone can hold it easier, even if the hand is quite small. This width difference also allows the cups to stack. Triangular flaps on small juice cartons can help control unwanted spillage. If you flip them and use them as handles for the carton, you won't press the package so the juice won't be squeezed uncontrollably. Now, if you have a mason jar and a blender with a screw on top, this secret is life-changing. You can actually put a mason jar directly onto the blender and make any shake you want without having to wash the blender jar. Just don't put your device on max. There's one trick you can use to make salt and pepper come out smoothly. Grab a container with pepper or salt, turn it upside down. There are ridges on the bottom of the shaker. Now grab the second container and rub those ridges together. The vibrations will make the product literally flow out. Most headphones, both wired and wireless, have little holes. They're needed to ensure good sound. The air circulates through those holes, which is important for the sound quality. Stick sachets were designed smartly. No need to tear one of its edges. The right way is to tear them down the middle. Now, you may say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. If two zips for one section seem a bit too much for you, it's probably time you started using them wisely. It's a great pickpocket proof. You can put on a small lock on those zippers and make sure no one but you can open your backpack. Hide the key in the fifth pocket on your jeans that was originally designed to keep watches safe. So, now you know. Next time you're getting ready for work, take a closer look at your go-to shirt. Every buttonhole is stitched vertically, but check out the very last hole. It's stitched horizontally, right? This is because the bottom part of your shirt endures the most stress from pulling, as it's where your hips are. So that horizontal buttonhole isn't a mistake, it's put there to stop your shirt ripping as your hips move. That layer of bubbles that forms when you add bubble bath to your tub isn't just for fun. The bubbly layer also acts as insulation and keeps your bath warmer for longer. The pom-pom on top of your beanie wasn't put there as a fashion accessory. The pom-pom was originally added to the hat to prevent sailors banging their heads on the ceilings of the ships that were too low. Crackers have holes in them to stop them cracking and breaking during baking. If the holes weren't there, steam would build up inside the cracker and make it collapse. Those numbers on stickers they put on oranges aren't random. If there are four digits and the first is three or four, this means the fruit has been made with conventional farming techniques. Five numbers beginning with an eight means the fruit has been genetically modified. Five numbers beginning with a nine means the fruit is organic. Margins on paper aren't for writing in dates and numbering lists. They were originally added to serve a protective function. Back in the day, rats used to be a pesky problem in people's homes, and paper was one of their favorite snacks. Margins were added as a safeguard, so that the rats would nibble on blank paper rather than taking a bite out of your important work. If you put your Chinese takeout on a plate when it arrives, you're doing more work than you should. Much like the paper condiment pots in fast food restaurants, your cardboard Chinese takeout box can be unfolded to create the perfect size plate for your food. The long neck on your soda bottle is designed like that to encourage you to hold it there. That way, the heat from your hand will only warm that top bit of the bottle instead of heating up your whole drink. Why does a lapel have a buttonhole with no matching button? Originally, coats and jackets did have a corresponding button so that the wearer could turn up the collar and fasten it around the neck to keep warm. Over time, people stopped doing this, and the button was removed. But many suitmakers still keep the non-functioning traditional buttonhole. It's always hard to see your food in the microwave because of that pesky black grate on the window. But it's there to stop harmful microwaves escaping. 
called the Faraday Shield. It protects you as well as ensures that your food cooks properly. That random diamond on your backpack is called a lash tab or pig snout. It's there so you can thread cords through the holes to carry extra gear. Perfect for camping or long hikes. Golf balls are covered in dimples, rather than being perfectly round, so that the ball can fly through the air more smoothly, decreasing the drag and allowing it to travel further and faster. Your makeup pads have two different sides for a reason. The bumpy side is used for applying makeup, while the flat side is for removing it. Donuts have holes so that the inside and outside cook evenly. Before the holes were added, the inside would often be greasy and doughy, while the outside was crisp. Your Apple laptop charger has tiny legs that can be folded out, and they're not there so your charger can stand up. These legs, when unfolded, allow you to wrap the cable around and then clamp it into place, securing it and preventing the cable getting tangled or damaged. Now take a look at a soda bottle, and you'll notice a disc inside the bottle cap. This helps seal in the liquid and the drink's fizz, stopping it from going flat. That hole in your hollow lollipop stick isn't to prevent choking, should it ever be swallowed. It's actually there to keep the candy in place. Excess candy flows into the hollow tube and the hole, which, when it hardens, keeps the pop in place. If it was a smooth stick, the candy would slide off easily. The zipper on leather biker jackets is often sewn diagonally. It's not just a fashion statement. Zips that are stitched vertically can bunch up if the wearer leans forward, but a diagonal zipper won't. That little triangle on your gas gauge is there to let you know which side of the car your gas cap is on. Now you'll never pull up to the wrong side of the pump in a rental car again. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. Those tiny holes in the chocolate box tray actually serve a function. Push the hole near the candy and it'll pop straight out with you having to get your hands dirty. How thoughtful! Some skyscrapers have hollow floors that can contain nothing but an elevator. It's actually a way to get around height limits. Some skyscrapers are given a limit to the number of floors they can have. Because the hollow floors are empty, they add to the height of the building and make it look more impressive without increasing the number of floors and breaking the building contract. These hollow floors also help to prevent the spread of fires. Women's shirt buttons are traditionally on the left for a reason. Back in the day, it was a sign of wealth, as it signified that a chambermaid had dressed you, as having the buttons on the left made it easier for them to do up the shirt. Your cuticles serve a purpose, so think before you get rid of them. The small area of skin is there to protect your nails from infection. Without it, bacteria and fungi can get in. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. If you look closely at an elevator door, you'll notice a tiny hole. This is actually a keyhole used for emergencies or for routine maintenance checks. Have you ever noticed those plastic lines along the side of your phone? They're the oddly spaced stripes that seem to have no purpose. In reality, though, they're probably your phone's most important feature. Because without them, your device would be little more than a smart paperweight. They are antenna lines, allowing your phone to remain wireless. Electromagnetic waves carrying phone, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi signals cannot pass through metal, which makes up most of the phone's outer case. And the glass panel up front also slows those waves down. It's like there's a bouncer at the door, refusing to let most signals in or out of the phone. Hey, I've been to that nightclub! Anyway, that means no phone calls, no texts, and no late-night delivery when you have nothing in the fridge except one egg and something that might have once been lasagna. Those little strips of plastic allow the same electromagnetic waves to come and go as they please. This is why you can call a friend, order a ride, or play an online matching game until 3 in the morning. Hey, don't you have to get up early for work? When you do finally stumble out of bed, make sure you're using this next item correctly to avoid a potentially upsetting situation. The zipper, originally patented as the clasp locker in 1851, didn't become widely used until the 1930s. Now they're on everything, from bags to jackets to jeans. 
And they're not perfect. They get stuck. They pinch the skin. And we all know what happens if the zipper on our pants refuses to stay up. Well, luckily, this can be avoided. Most zippers have a locking mechanism built right in. When the zip is facing down and flat against the teeth, the lock is engaged and the zipper remains closed. If only I had known that back in school. What about those metal rivets most jeans have? They're more than a design choice. They were added to protect areas that experience the most strain, such as pocket corners and the base of the fly. The rivets hold the fabric together, even when it's being stretched and pulled during work. And since we're talking about clothing, have you ever wondered about that tiny fifth pocket at the front of your jeans? Well, first of all, it isn't really a fifth pocket. Originally, jeans were made with four pockets, including that little one in front. The fifth pocket is actually the one on the back left, which was only added to jeans in 1901. The little pocket, though, was important a long time ago. Cowboys needed to keep their pocket watches safe while riding out on the range. Yeehaw! That pocket kept the watches protected but also handy. And then people became so used to it that jeans just look weird without one. Another strange holdout from a bygone day is that stitched V on the front of some sweatshirts. What if I told you that those exact stitches hold the whole shirt together? Well, then I would be lying, and I never do that. But back in the 1940s, this V was very useful. First, the V stitch was initially used to add a patch of stretchy rib fabric to the shirt so that it could fit over our big heads more easily. Secondly, these shirts were specifically designed for sports, so the V included an additional piece of fabric to absorb the sweat that would build up during a game or a workout. As stretchy fabric became readily available and better at handling perspiration, the V lost its traditional value. But like the tiny jean pocket, it has continued as a decorative feature, a reminder of our big-headed ancestors who apparently only sweated just below the chin. But moving on. One place you won't find many people sweating is the golf course. You will see quite a few fashion disasters, sure. But sweat? Mm, not so much. Golf was invented around the 16th century in Scotland. Back then, the ball was perfectly round and smooth. Over time, the ball would become dented from use. And at some point, golfers discovered that these imperfections actually helped the ball fly farther. Dimples were added on purpose in the 1900s when it was found out that they reduced the aerodynamic drag that slowed down a smoother ball, and the dimples made the balls easier to control. And no, not all golf balls are created equal. The number of dimples can range from 300 to 500, with one company producing a ball with over a thousand little dents. Wow, a little overboard, eh? Need a quick, refreshing drink after a round of golf? Juice boxes, created back in 1963, are very convenient. But why do they have these large triangular flaps on top? Their lifted flaps act as hand grips. This stops you from accidentally squeezing a full box and spilling juice all over the place, like onto your favorite t-shirt or the new couch. Now, when you're done golfing, grab your backpack with that leather diamond patch with two vertical openings. It's commonly referred to as a lash tab, but I much prefer its other name, pig snout. I mean, it certainly looks like one. You typically find these pig snouts on packs used by hikers and climbers. The diamond is a place to tie any extra gear that they need to carry, like boots, cooking equipment, or sleeping bags. But these lash tabs are also becoming more common on smaller backpacks. They're a nod to the past, but just as useful. Attach your running shoes to one next time you head to the gym, keeping those stinky things away from the rest of your clothes. Now, I'm sure you're a great driver. But for years, you've probably been neglecting an important safety feature right in front of your eyes. That rear-view mirror has a small tab located at the bottom center. It's high time you started using it. When this is flipped forward, the mirror is in day mode, providing a strong reflection of everything behind the car. Flipping the tab backward changes the whole situation to night mode. This reduces the brightness of the headlights behind you, resulting in a safer drive. Another cool car tip? If you're borrowing from a friend, using a rental, or have the memory of a houseplant, cars feature a handy indicator to let you know which side the gas tank is on. It's a tiny arrow next to the pump icon that points either left or right. Where the arrow points, that's where the gas tank can be found. And that's one less thing you have to remember. 
If you're not at your computer, take a look at your keyboard right now. If you're not, that's okay. Here's one on the screen. The keycaps are arranged in what's called the QWERTY layout, named after the first six keycaps below the numbers. As it turns out, it wasn't always this way. They used to be laid out alphabetically, which would make more sense when you think about it. The alphabetical layout fell out of use because long ago, there were things called typewriters. Remember those? You press down a key, and a type bar would fly out, hitting an inked ribbon and stamping a letter on the piece of paper. Eventually, typists got good at this and typed faster. Too fast. The type bars would eventually get caught in a log jam with each other, ruining the flow. To fix this problem, they made keyboards with randomized keycaps. The new layout actually worked better because it made typing harder, helping to slow typists down and prevent the type bars from getting stuck. Much better! Today, no type bars. No typewriters, mostly. People are still fast nowadays, but you just can't help but wonder who is faster though, us or them? Keyboards have another hidden feature too. Have you ever noticed that the F keycap and the J keycap have little bumps on the bottom of them? As it turns out, they're there to help people figure out where they are on the keyboard without having to take their eyes off the screen. Grabbing a takeaway cup of coffee at your favorite cafe might be just what you need to fully wake up in the mornings. When you get back home or to work, though, you might be afraid to stain your desk when you put the steaming hot coffee down. Worry not, your plastic lid isn't only good for keeping your coffee hot, it also doubles as a coaster. In fact, they're the perfect size to hold a cup. Try it for yourself. This one's going to come in handy if you're a home cook. If you're like me, you might have a bit of trouble deciding how much pasta you need for just one serving. Well, if you've got a pasta scoop, grab that. Most people don't know what the little hole in the middle is for and assume it's supposed to help with water drainage or something. It turns out that it helps you measure out a perfect serving. Just see how much dry spaghetti you can fit in the hole and use that as one portion. Out at the store buying coat hangers, you might notice that the plastic ones feel cheaper than the wooden ones. There's a good reason for this. Wooden hangers are made out of cedar wood. The big difference between the two is that the wooden ones repel bugs and moths. They're stronger and last longer, too. Perfect for things that might stay in your closet for a long time. When you brush your teeth, you might have noticed that your toothbrush has blue bristles. They're not just there for show. In fact, they're there to tell you when it might be time to switch toothbrushes. These bristles lose their strength and color when the brush has been worn down, letting you know that it's time to get rid of it. Microwaves often look a bit like mini-TVs, especially ones where you can clearly see the black film around them. This is actually a really important feature that's used to keep the radiation from slipping away. They're called Faraday cages, if you want to get technical. This is why you can stand next to a microwave without melting into a puddle. That's not to say you should stand in front of the microwave and watch your food heat up, but at least you know you won't grow an extra ear or something. Okay, not really. Some ovens have a drawer under them. It's tempting to use this to store random junk you don't use often, but there's a better use for it. Instead, this should be used to help keep the food that's waiting to be served hot. You can take it out of the oven and store it right in this drawer, keeping your oven free for you to carry on cooking. Now, you're on a plane looking around trying to pass the time before takeoff. When you examine the window, you notice this has a little, very tiny hole on its bottom. Don't worry, it's not broken. It's there to relieve the pressure that builds up over time as the plane goes up and down. It also lets the air flow through it. Now, raise your hand if you've ever ridden on an escalator and scrubbed your shoes on its bristles. Hey, I'm guilty of doing that. Maybe more than I should. It's not there to clean your shoes, though. It's an important safety measure. It stops your shoelaces, clothing, and other stuff from getting stuck in there avoiding a nasty scene when you go to get off. Sometimes a piece of fabric comes with your new clothing. It usually comes along with the extra buttons in a little plastic bag. You might think it's just a piece of fabric to use for future patching, in case you rip it. But that isn't its purpose at all. 
It's actually supposed to be put in the washing machine to test how it reacts to various washings. Now, you don't have to worry about shrinking your new, expensive coat because you know how it'll react to the wash. Bubbles! Who doesn't love bubbles? Most people have fond memories with bubble blowers as a kid. But as adults, the closest thing we can get to recapturing that feeling is with bubble baths. After a hard day at work, there's nothing better than dipping into a nice warm bubble bath. Right, guys? And the bubbles do more than just clean you. If they're high-quality bubbles, they'll serve as a heat insulator. So they make sure that your bath stays warm for longer. Boxes of chocolate sometimes have these mysterious holes in them. When I'm eating a box, or two, I usually ignore them and take out the chocolate by pressing the bottom of the plastic. But it turns out that I've been doing it wrong the whole time. If you press one of the holes, the chocolate comes right out. I'm certainly going to start doing this from now on. Mm -hmm. Here's another one from the kitchen. The handle on a pot will often have a hole in it. Most people use this to hang them on a nail on the wall as an easy storage method. The hole has another use, too. When you're cooking, you can use this handle to hold your wooden spoon or whatever else you might be cooking with. This makes sure you don't make a mess when you put it down. Triangular flaps on small juice cartons can help control unwanted spillage, too. If you flip them and use them as handles for the carton, you won't press the package, so the juice won't be squeezed uncontrollably. All the disposable cups look the same. The secret here is the special shape that lets you enjoy your drink easily. The top is always wider for the nose to fit in while you're drinking, and the bottom is always narrower so anyone can hold it, even if the hand is small. Also, the width difference allows the cups to stack. You can use a mason jar directly onto the blender with a screw on top and make any shake you want without having to wash the blender jar. The only rule is to not put your device on max. There is no need to tear one of its edges on stick sachets. The right way is to tear them down the middle. You may say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. Two zips for one section can be an excellent pickpocket proof. You can put on a small lock on those zippers and make sure no one but you can open your backpack. If something got stuck in your teeth, it could be hard to have perfect results with loose floss. To increase the tension, tie it in a knot. With increased tension, you'll get rid of that basil between your teeth in no time. A tiny hole on the bottom of a padlock is there to drain water to help avoid corrosion. Plus, it's the most convenient place to lubricate a padlock. A drop of oil in there will make it open and close easier. A tiny plastic disc under a bottle lid is what makes soda sparkling. While the lid keeps the liquid inside, this plastic disc holds the gases inside. Without it, it would just be sweet water. It's a myth that the red side of the eraser is for pencil and the blue one is for ink. The blue one gets rid of mistakes on thicker types of paper only. It works both for pencil and even ink, but make sure the paper is really thick. But that blue little thing can do so much more. It can polish your jewelry, clean your electronics, for example, the screen of your cell phone. You know those irritating sticker residues that won't peel off? Eraser helps there too. So as with cleaning scuffed up suede or dirt you have on your walls. Glass bottles usually have a kind of indent on the bottom called a punt. It's handy for those who pour drinks in the glass. The bottle won't slip from the hands like this. A cotton pads pack has those strings on it to hang on some hook or holder. There is no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom. It has a perforated line. Tear along it and just pull out a cotton pad from a hanging pack. If you lick a Nintendo cartridge, you'll notice they leave a revolting, sour, bitterish aftertaste in your mouth. They're covered with denatonium benzoate, aka one of the most disgusting flavors. It prevents people from swallowing those cartridges. Bottles have long necks for a reason. Hold the neck, not the bottle if you want to enjoy a cold drink. The same goes for fancy glasses. Their stem saves any drink from overheating. So hold it right. A button on the reverse side of a shirt collar is needed to hold a tie in place. Anyway, slim ties, which this button was designed for, are not that popular today. So this button is only an element of design. All running shoes have an anti-blister system pre-installed. 
It's the extra hole on top of your sneakers. Make a loop with this hole, inserting the lace in backwards. Cross the laces and insert them into the loops. Then pull the laces down, creating a kind of lock. Some people like to hide the laces under the soles to make them totally invisible. Women's shirts oddly have buttons on the left because some women used to have maids who would help them dress up. It was convenient for maids to button the shirts with the button on the left. Silica gel can often be found in different things you buy, like bags, shoes, and many others. It's meant to absorb excess moisture, so anytime your shoes are a bit wet, just throw in a sachet with silica gel. You are probably using shampoo wrong all the time. Well, the main thing you should know is that you don't apply it directly on your hair. You gotta apply it onto the roots only. The foam that you make is enough to clean your hair. Notebook margins were invented to protect people's notes. People used to co-live with rats, and those rodents nibbled on paper pretty often. Still, they weren't able to gnaw on more than the space left on the margins. Red cups you saw at parties can measure liquids. The bottom line equals 1 ounce, the second line equals 5 ounce, and the third line equals 12 ounces. Detachable headrests in cars are all about safety. If you pull it out of a seat, you'll see two pretty sturdy bars. If you ever get locked or trapped in a car, you can get out of there smashing the window with these bars. A little arrow next to the refueling indicator on the car's dashboard indicates which side of the vehicle has fuel tank openings. It's useful when you need to refuel a rented car. Roadside rumble strips come in handy if someone wants to drive at night since they prevent falling asleep. Whenever a car bumps into these strips, the driver feels vibration and hears quite a loud noise, so the driver can't help but wake up instantly. Rings used to be more than a stylish accessory. The nobility used rings as a seal. Archers wore rings to protect their fingers from bowstring injuries, while needlewomen from needle pricks. As for rings, three rings on a phone jack are not part of the design. They represent different functions. If your audio jack has three of them, it means your device can produce stereo sound and your earphones have the microphone function. Kings depicted on playing cards are real historical characters. Spades, King David. Clubs, Alexander the Great. Hearts, Charles the Great. Diamonds, Julius Caesar. A drawer under the oven. It's simple, you needed to store all those pots and pans. Mm. Maybe, but it wasn't this drawer's original purpose. You can use this place to keep your food warm while something else is being prepared in the oven. Wooden hangers They might look more stylish and sturdy than metal or plastic ones, but it's not all about looks. The very first wooden hangers were made from cedar, which is an effective natural insect repellent. The smell scared off moths and saved clothes fabric patches. Some pieces of clothing come with a small patch of fabric with a button on it. While it's quite obvious how to use the button, the fabric's purpose isn't so apparent. Is it to patch holes? Then why is it so small? Well, you're supposed to test your cleaning products on it. Then, if something goes wrong, you won't ruin the whole garment. Diamond slits on backpacks. These diamonds were originally placed only on traveler backpacks and were designed to carry ropes. Now you can find such slits on pretty much every backpack. Why not use them to carry a bottle of water, an umbrella, or a pair of sneakers? A hole in the elevator door This seemingly random diamond-sized hole is actually a keyhole. If the elevator doors get stuck, an operator can open them manually by inserting a special key in this hole. The same tool is used when an elevator needs routine maintenance. A dent in the milk container Some plastic milk containers have dents in their sides that can serve several purposes. For one, if milk spoils, this process can cause swelling and high-pressure buildup inside the container. That's when the dent comes in handy. It pops out and doesn't let the jug blow up. Plus, if you decide to freeze the milk, it'll expand like any other liquid. And then, the indentation will pop out and prevent the container from bursting inside the freezer. Removable headrests 
Even though it wasn't its original role, a removable headrest can turn into a crucial survival tool. Being trapped in a car, you can use the headrest's metal prods to break the window and get out. Applesauce lids Ever been stranded with a pack of applesauce, but no spoon in hand? Huh, if I had a nickel! Then you probably don't know that each snack pack already has a built-in spoon. Several twists of foil lid and… ah, there you go! Bread tags Colorful plastic tags on bags of bread indicate when the loaf was baked. The color code is the following. Monday, a blue tag. Tuesday, green. Thursday, red. Friday, white. And on Saturday, you can buy fresh bread with a yellow tag. Apparently, they don't bake bread on Wednesday. That's so they can loaf around. Grooves on keyboards Palpable lines on the F and J keys help those who type without looking at the keyboard to position their hands correctly. You place your right and left index fingers on the grooves and immediately understand where your other finger should go. None of which should be up your nose. Rings and zippers Ever paid attention to those outer rings and zipper sliders, especially when two sliders are used together? These rings are added so that you can connect the sliders with a lock and keep sticky fingers away. Chinese takeaway boxes A first-timer might think that Chinese takeaway boxes have a peculiar shape. Most experienced diners know that by unfolding the sides of these containers, you get a paper plate with the food already sitting on top. Tri-color toothpaste Lots of toothpastes have blue, red, and white stripes. Such coloring isn't mere aesthetics, all the stripes have their own ingredients and purposes. The blue one contains antimicrobial elements and has a breath-freshening effect. The red one includes some ingredients crucial for healthy gums. And the white, most valuable stripe, removes plaque and whitens the teeth. Little studs on jeans Hey, that was my gang in middle school! You know, the first jeans had one problem. Workers and miners, who were the original jeans wearers, put so much stress on their denim pants that it seems couldn't withstand the pressure and tore. Tiny metal studs were invented to prevent this from happening. Utility knife This instrument is supposed to last way longer than most people think. Take a good look at the knife's blade, and you'll notice that it's made of narrow, parallel sections. When your knife gets blunt, break off the top section with the cap you find at the bottom. Voila! You have a brand new sharp blade again. Just don't forget to put some safety gloves and goggles on first. A slot near the iPhone camera Not every iPhone owner pays attention to an almost unnoticeable little hole between the camera and the flash. It's the gadget's second microphone. Its role is to block outside noises when you're filming a video. This microphone also makes the sound clearer. Use it when you're on the phone in a noisy place. Ketchup cups If you ever use those flimsy ribbed ketchup containers they have at fast food restaurants, you probably wondered why they don't make them a bit bigger. What most people don't know, though, is that those ribs should be pulled outward. Thanks to this trick, the container can house way more sauce.